Despite being a comedy superstar, this man has never lost touch with his Welsh roots. Flying in on his private jet from his home in Monte Carlo, please welcome Rod Gilbert! Hello! Hello, good evening, Royal Albert Hall. Are you well? Let me hear you make some noise! It is wonderful to be here. This is my second uh, Royal Variety performance. I almost, uh, I'm going to confess something, I almost didn't make this one. Uh, I was, well, at half past four this afternoon, I genuinely thought I was going to be arrested in a Tesco Metro's. <laughs> I'll tell you what it's about. I'll cut straight to the point. This is what caused the argument. This is why I was almost arrested. This packet of jacket potatoes. I was almost arrested because of this jacket potatoes. I, uh, basically, I only wanted one. <laughs> I'm going away first thing on tomorrow morning on holiday. I wanted one jacket potato for my dinner tonight. So I called the manager. I said, excuse me, I just want one jacket potato. She said, I'm sorry, sir, they come in packs of two. I said, no, they don't. You did this. <laughs> She said, you what? I said, you did this. This isn't Noah's vegetable rack. Potatoes come in ones. <laughs> it's one potato, two potato, three potato, four. Not two potato, four potato, six potato, eight. <laughs> she said, but there's two in the pack. I said, I can see there's two in the pack. I'm not an idiot, but I'm making jacket potato for my dinner, and I'm pretty sure I can nail it on the first attempt. <laughs> so I don't need a contingency potato. So just take one out and I'll be on my way. Everyone's happy. She said, we can't possibly do that. We don't sell them singly. You'll have to take the two and have the other one another day. I said, I would normally, but I'm going away at six o'clock tomorrow morning and I don't really want a jacket potato at half past five for breakfast. <laughs> and she said, couldn't you take it with you? I said, I'm going to America. That's where potatoes came from in the first place. What do you want me to tell their customs officers that I'm bringing them back one by one? <laughs> Oh, don't worry, officer, they didn't get far, and this one's the ringleader. Here he is. Come on, you. Get back in there. This is where apparently I could have been arrested, because I said, give it to her. I'll split the pack. I'll do it. She said, you, could, you do that, you could be arrested. I said, and charged with what? Separating potatoes? <laughs> Bring it on. I'll be out in six months. You don't frighten me. She said, she said, just start, calm down. Don't you just calm down, sir? Just, she said, take the two and have, you know, just take the two and give the other one away. <laughs> and she, oh, wait a minute, I'm doing the royal variety performance tonight. I could give it to Her Majesty the Queen. <laughs> I mean, it worked for Sir Walter Raleigh all those years ago with Queen Elizabeth I. I know this is only one, but it's the thought that counts, Your Majesty. <laughs> and I know it's petty, ma'am. I know it's petty. I apologize, but I can't help it. It's packaging winds me up because we have to pay for it. We don't need it. And then we have to, we have to try and recycle it. Can't you do something, ma'am? <laughs> she said, well, people don't like loose potatoes. I said, of course people don't like loose potatoes. Watching four potatoes sitting around discussing the menopause is only marginally more interesting than loose women. And I should know I've appeared on it three times. <laughs> I said, justify it. If you can justify the plastic, we'll do it that way. Every bit of packaging you justify, I will pay for. She said, but it protects the potatoes. I said, who is trying to harm our potatoes? <laughs> who is it they have to get past me first? Where are they? She said, I didn't say anybody was trying to harm them. I said, well, if it's a self-harming potato, you can keep it. <laughs> I want a potato with low self-esteem who's going to start peeling himself every time things get a bit difficult. I want to come home to find a suicide note and a pan of mash on the hob. <laughs> I said, because I'm afraid I want a single stark naked, label free, cellophane free, upside down if need be, self-confident potato that isn't going to get all chippy when I offer to give him a lift home. <laughs> it didn't work. I had to buy the two. <laughs> I'm stuck with it, stuck with a spare potato. So what I thought I would do is be as good as my word, and seeing as it's the jubilee year, I thought I would present you this potato, ma'am. As a token of my appreciation, and I've arranged to have it delivered by your butler. <laughs> this is my contingency potato, and I send it to you with warm wishes and congratulations on a long and prosperous reign. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Rod Gilbert. Thank you very much. It's been lovely. Cheers. Good night.